Question number 14. It says that there is a cardboard strip and it is filled, folded in U shape and it has been placed on inclined plane. You can see the picture. And uh, this, uh, this portion that is uh, this downside is of a square shape and its length is L. And this length is L. Moreover, this length it says it is eta times L where eta is uh, 1.5. So we can write it as like this is eta times L because we are going to use it. And you will find this height is going to be L because it says it's square shape so this must be L. Now uh, when we increase this theta that is angle of this incl inclined plane from the horizontal so at certain angle it will start uh, this toppling. It is asking for toppling. Uh, it says friction is sufficient that is preventing sliding. So sliding will occur later on. Uh, it, won't, it won't occur let's say and uh, it will topple. Now uh, let's first make equation for toppling and then we will use that equation to get our answer. So that's 3D picture. We can convert this 3D picture into 2D picture. So let's say that's inclined plane, that's a horizontal surface and this angle is theta. If you look from the side, if I'm drawing the side view, then you'll find it would, it would appear some sort of this. Uh, there will be rectangular face will be appearing. In this rectangular face, you'll find this length, if we talk about the length, this is going to be L height and this is going to be eta times L. And uh, let's, let's consider that the center of mass of this is lying somewhere here. That's the center of mass. And if it is at the just toppling condition, then you'll find normal relation has to reach to the corner. So normal relation has to reach to this corner, the extreme corner. If normal relation reaches here, there are chances that it's going to topple. Then you'll find uh, there's going to be acting a uh, component of mg over here, another component of mg will be acting perpendicular to the plane. And this, this component depending upon theta, let's say this angle was theta, so this is going to be mg sin theta, and this will become mg cos theta, you know the components. Normal relation has come to this corner, just toppling condition. Moreover, there is going to act a friction. Friction will be acting in the backward direction to prevent sliding. So uh, these are this is the friction. Friction is going to be static. It's not moving. Okay. So this point about which it is happening is important point. List this point is named as a point. So at just toppling condition, the torque must be just balanced from this a point. So at just toppling condition. Can we say and the torque about A just zero should be zero. So normal reaction and friction will not provide any torque because their reactions or their line of actions are passing through A point. There will be torque of mg sine theta which will be at a distance from this uh, point, A point, what that distance will be. This is since this are symmetrical, so their center of mass will be at the mid location. So wherever the mid location is going to be, it's going to be there. So height is going to be L by 2. So you write it is going to be L by 2. This is equal to the torque of mg cos theta. Let's assume that this mg cos theta is lying at a distance uh, which is x. So we are considering this distance to be x. How to write? This distance, I'm drawing it separately so that it's not confusing. This distance we are saying it is x. That means the center of mass of this cardboard is at a distance x from this edge. So we are thinking the center of mass is somewhere there inside basically. That means which is at a distance x from this corner. We will use it. 
So if it is x, so you'll find the stock is going to be mg cos theta into x. x is unknown, we need to find it out. Anyway, uh, now if you want it to topple, then the stock should lead. If you want it uh, to stay not to topple, the stock should lead. Because this mg cos theta torque is providing stability about this point A, and this mg sin theta torque is providing instability uh, about point A. So I'm, I'm using just toppling conditions, so I'm not using inequalities. You can use inequalities depending upon the question that is asking. Uh, the, for, for example, it is asking what will be the uh, minimum angle of inclination so that it topples. So condition for toppling, that means this must be greater than or equal to this. So that will be the condition for toppling. In case of just toppling, it's a limiting equal to. Okay, uh, this will give us an information. Uh, we'll say cos theta, you bring this side, so sin theta by cos theta will become tan theta and mg will disappear is going to be equal to twice x divided by L. Okay, so tan theta must be 2x by L. Now the equation is solved. The only thing that we need to find out is what this x is going to be in terms of L. That means we need to find the location of the center of mass of this cardboard. So we need to find the center of mass of this cardboard. How we can find it out? Let's again see the two-dimensional picture. This is the cardboard and we are looking at the center of mass from this location. From this location we want the center of mass. Now here there is a square strip as well. So uh, uh, and then there will be two parallel rectangular strips like this. The square strip will have a center uh, or center of mass at the midpoint and these two horizontal ones, uh, this rectangular faces will have the center of mass at their midpoint. One will have here, another will have this back side. So if you join the combined center of mass will be at the midpoint and that midpoint will be joining that point. So I'm drawing, drawing this two dimensional stuff. Now this mass, let's say it's a mass density, surface mass uh, density is sigma, so this mass is going to be sigma into the area which is L square. This mass is going to be equal to uh, sigma into area, area is going to be L into eta times L because one side is eta L, another side is L. So area becomes L into eta L. Moreover, the two rectangular strips. So it will be two times. So total mass is going to be this much. Now these are the point, uh, the center of masses of these uh, uh, rectangulars combined together and square one. We need to find the center of mass of entire one. So we are interested of center of mass of entire one. So that will be somewhere there. This is the center of mass location. And we are using this as the x. This is x for us. So if this is x, you will find that this, is, this uh, center is going to be at midpoint. So this leftover length is going to be equal to eta L by 2 minus x. So can we write it as eta L by 2 minus x? Yes, we can write it at. So um, how to show, let's say I'm showing over here, this distance I'm saying eta L by 2 minus x. Now if there's a point mass over here, there's a point mass over here, center of mass is x distance from this mass and this distance from this mass, so we, we, can, we can use the condition for center of mass. So let's draw a boundary. This is a separate calculation we are performing for center of mass. We can claim that eta L by 2 minus x, this distance into the mass which is twice sigma eta L square, so mass into the distance from the center of mass is equal to the another distance which is x into the mass which is sigma L square. You will find sigma L square will get cancelled out and this two will get multiplied with this, so it will become eta L minus twice x and uh, this sigma L square got cancelled out, there is going to be eta surviving, so there is eta is equal to x. Now we are interested in finding x by L. So collect x together, so it's going to be like uh, eta square L minus 2 times eta x is equal to x. 
so it's like uh, x by l is equal to eta square divided by 1 plus 2 eta agree my point so this is x by l once we get this x by l we can substitute over here so we substitute over here we are going to get like tan theta is equal to 2 times x by l which is eta square divided by 1 plus 2 times eta now this eta is basically uh, 1.5 you can put the value 1.5 is basically 3 by 2 so that's basically our answer so we have got our answer now we want it to be numerical number so we can put the value numerical tan theta is going to be equal to 2 into 3 by 2 square divided by 1 plus 2 into 3 by 2 after simplification we will get like 2 into 9 by 4 divided by 1 plus 3 at least 2 9 by 2 divided by 4 which leads to 9 by 8 so our final answer becomes like this theta must be equal to tan inverse 9 by 8 now what it says basically is this that when theta becomes this then toppling will start and if theta is more than this toppling will take place and if theta is less than this toppling will not take place so this is the limiting uh, condition that means just toppling condition for which theta is coming tan inverse 9 by 8 hence this is our answer okay thank you